they got Draymond, they got Steph, they got Clay. They are unstoppable. But are they unstoppable? Or again, have teams realized why would I try to shoot with them when I know God damn well I can't? I can just make use fatigue because I've been saying this for three years now. And January 2016, when I first said it, people scoffed at me. Every time, look at it like you look at it when you play a video game. Every step that you take, you take a little bit of energy out of that. And when you make them move their feet, that's a lot less energy. So when you used to jump 12 inches off the ground, now you're jumping 10 inches off the ground. And now you, you go from being an excellent shooter to being a very good shooter. Take a very good shooter to being a, 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 a great shooter to be a very good shooter. Take a good shooter to being a bad shooter. And that's what normalizes the Golden State Warriors, in my personal opinion. I've seen it done by the Cleveland Cavaliers. I saw it done the other night by the Toronto Raptors. The thing is, can't other teams duplicate it? Angry Black Man has chimed in in the chat. That Golden State Warriors uh, system didn't have KD and Draymond. Suspended. Get the cash credit, but you have to be, you have to be proud of them on the glass. And when they tried to hide stuff on defense, they got him. They got him as a he's a liar. Exactly. Make him play defense. When you force him to play defense, look. And I said this on the show two days. But look, look. This is the funny thing. I said this when I was only doing one show a week. I said this on the Wednesday, Friday. Oscar Robinson was on Mike and Mike in the morning. He said what I said, they called him a hater. Monday, they bought Walt Clyde Frazier on there. Walt Clyde Frazier said the same thing. He's not gonna hit all those threes on me. I'm gonna make him drive to the hole. Everybody called him a hater. The following Wednesday in the morning, Isaiah Thomas got on there and said, and of course they just waiting to call him a hater because he didn't bow down to God and the God the sneakers, aka Michael Jordan. So they were all called haters. And then it made me a hater. And it was six months later, six months later. Cleveland Cavaliers executed that. Now with the KD and Draymond, the other night, Draymond and KD were there. Uh, uh, Angry Black Man, a couple nights ago, the whole crew was there. Draymond, KD, Steph, Clay, they were all there. And they got smoked. Here's the crazy thing, Angry Black Man. The Kawhi wasn't there the other night. That's the crazy part. Kawhi Leonard wasn't there the other night. And bam, they still beat him. Okay, the Lakers ain't trash uh, as present as presently constructed. Cannot be the legitimate playoff team. They're not good enough on defense. They check back, uh, check the back, check back next summer after free agency because LeBron, I picked him to go to a fourth seed, and win first round, and lose later the second round. You know what? I think that you know what? I don't. I you know what? I think they're gonna make a couple moves. And we black man, like as you said, presently constructed, they are some rules. But I do believe, for one, you need to get rid of B.I. Brandon Ingram is not what they think he is. I believe he's exactly what they, they labeled uh, Mello as, a ball stopper. He, he is not doing anything for ancillary players. If presently constructed, you are right. They'll, get, they'll beat somebody in the first round and then that'll be it. But if they add like a Trevor Ariza and the dude, I think they should add as a Bradley Bill. I think they can. Uh, I think they can do it. One game, my man, angry black man said, one game, bro. Seven game series, you ain't putting no money on Toronto against the world. No, no, I'm talking about. I'm not saying Toronto. I'm saying the recipe that Toronto followed is the exact same recipe that Cle the Cleveland Cavaliers executed in the playoff game. I'm not saying Toronto, but hell, I don't think they are impossible to beat by basketball players. That's all I'm saying. If you have, like, if you had a coach like Popovich, uh, if the Milwaukee Bucks continue to play the way they're playing, if the Boston Celtics ever get their head screwed on, uh, 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 I think they can beat it. Uh, agree with you 100% on Ingram. The Lakers seem to set he said on keeping him and their young players this season. Hey man, I would get rid of that dude. Agitate the gravel, homie. Agitate the gravel. He needs to go. He's he does not fit in that system. 
and you could potentially pick up a Bradley Beal. Him and Catavius Carwell Pope send their ass to Washington, get the dude Bradley Beal with, with Hart and those, that crew coming up. Man, I think that would be something special. And I do believe you put LeBron James with, look, look, look. I would never say that, uh, I got Doc Bell calling in the show. One second, man. Angry black man in the building. Thank you for giving the call. Welcome to the show. Hello? What's going on, man? What's good, man? Thanks for calling in, bro. Yeah, man, I was tight, man. Get Carpool Tunnel, man. I agree with you on the, the Lakers. That's why I always try to do it. Like, presently constructed. I, I like their team. I think they'd be, you know, all the, middle, all the teams they should be. People don't realize when you're the NFL or NBA, if you beat the bad teams, uh, especially in the NBA with A's and if you beat the bad teams, and then you split with the good teams, you're going to win 50 plus games. But exactly. I just think they got to change their roster if they're going to not waste this first year with LeBron. I mean, waste the by not giving him a chance to get him to the conference final mm -hmm. or maybe the finals. So I agree with you on the Warriors. I don't think they're unbeatable. Uh, I think they're coming to the end of their run, kind of fresh face. It's kind of hard to win three in a row. We've taken the Bulls do it twice. Mm -hmm. uh, but it ain't easy to keep winning year after year, even with the same crowd. Mm hmm. And I just, I think, to be perfectly honest with you, I think, oh, uh, hold on, Joe from Houston said, uh, he said, F this, uh, oh, he talked about you, he said, F this, my hands hurt. He was talking about you, that's why you called in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, man, I just, I just think if you are properly coached, like, don't get me wrong, what I'm about to say, a lot of people will misconstrue it. I'm, I know that you won't. If LeBron and Kyrie could beat them with the little bit of talent that they had around them, Bradley Beal is not as good a player as Le uh, 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 Kyrie Irving. But he is a very good offensive player. And with the other ancillary pieces, I think they, could, they would be able to beat them, man. If they can, if that team can get together, if you can get Bradley Beal on that team with Bradley Beal, Hart, Rondo, LeBron, and those other ancillary pieces like Kyle Kuzma and those and and, and Lance Stevenson, hate him or love him or hate him, he steps up in the playoffs. Lance Steven brings his A game in the playoffs. I'm not telling you that this dude is an NBA All Star. I'm not telling nobody to build a team around Lance. But when when the, when the, when June comes, Lance Stevenson brings his best game. What do you think about that? Uh, I agree. I mean, I, I have you know, I did my preview show for NBA, and I said I had the Lakers. I, I think I said four. If I said ten, I think I put them fourth. Well, like fourth didn't no matter. Yeah, I'm on court bench and on the bottom. I got them winning and playing in the second round against the Warriors. And I got them moving to the Warriors to start to be constructed. They can get a Bradley Hill. That gives them an all-star player right. to go with LeBron. And they got the young horses to be able to battle with Golden State. The whole thing Golden State will have, of course, you know, years of playing with each other, playoff experience, stuff like that. But I think they're right. Now, the, the caveat for Golden State, we don't know what he's going to look like when he comes back or what he looks like when he's Playoff starts late April, early May. He's booked to cut. Uh -huh. I mean, to me, he's been a wild card player. He comes back to that what he was before he had that uh, unfortunate uh, chili victory going for that loose ball in New Orleans. Nobody's going to beat him. But that, that's the wild card. Either Boogie couldn't play or he's not right, they're vulnerable in the West, you know. And I just don't get the Lakers in it for some reason. We're going to never with Brandon Ingram, but I want you, brother. I'll be to ride to LA and pick them up and drive wherever they need to turn. I'm not a Lakers fan, but as a basketball fan, I'm sure you'll be in the car, man. We can do our podcast from the phone. You can do it on Tuesday after mine on Thursday. They take a two days to get to LA. Hey, there you go, man. We there. Hey, what, uh, uh, hey, man, I'm with you, man, because he's just not. You know what? Here's the funny thing. <laughs> it is crazy, but he might be better served in New Jersey because they need that. With him, the kid that they signed earlier this week, I can't think of his name. He used to play for the Bulls, and, and that dude Levert. As hard as they play, if they had enough a facilitator for those two guys, which Bi seems to be, 
I think the New Jersey Nets would be a legitimate playoff team on a regular basis, bordering on a team needing one or two more pieces to make. All right, brother, say, say that again. Just say that last part about New Jersey. What you think about New Jersey? People don't watch the NBA. They won't, they won't understand what you're saying, but we'll get it again for them so they can check out New Jersey Nets. The New Jersey Nets are, one, a hard playing team. They playing, they are actually out there playing real basketball. Two, the uh, Dinwiddie. Yeah, 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 Dinwiddie. Spencer Dinwiddie. Thank you, Joe, from Houston. Yeah, Spencer Dinwiddie, uh, Levert. And if you add somebody like Brandon Ingram along with the Schnitch, the Schnitch out there playing good ball too, man. I, I, I like to give him hard time. But the snitch out there hoping, man, the Lakers may have gave. <laughs> he plays. Some... Oh, oh, yeah. He balling. He balling. I mean, the New Jersey Nets are a real basketball team. This is why I am regaining my love for the NBA. Because as you look around the National Basketball League, you are seeing far more teams actually playing basketball again. The Indiana Pacers, the New Jersey Nets, even the lowly New York Knicks, they are playing basketball. It ain't about, see, people think, like I said earlier this week, everybody, how can you tell a, t a group of people, we trying to lose so we can get this real good player, but you know what, I'm going to need you to work on that pick and roll better, you did that wrong. That's, a, that's oxymoronic. You cannot do something right and do something wrong at the same time. New Jersey, I stay out here saying, look, man, we're trying to make the playoffs. Now, Zion Williamson, it would be great to get him, but I'm quite sure nobody was looking at LeVert. Nobody was looking at Spencer Dinwiddie, especially since the Bulls' great ass let him go. And, and the snitch out there, I'm telling you, man, they got a decent team. They are slowly building a wonderful situation out there. You would be remiss as a big-time basketball player not to want to go play either in New York or New Jersey this year or next year because the thing is, I'm not into this big market, small market thing no more, uh, Doc, because that's a, that's a farce now. There are no small markets. Russell Westbrook got a Sprite ad. Russell Westbrook got a, a, a Jordan deal. He got, uh, he got all this stuff going on, man. So you don't have to. That's the smallest market in the NBA. So if you are in right. Brooklyn or if you in it, are in New York, and j okay, I'm gonna put it to you simple. Your nickname is Doc Bell. You you told me you got your nickname because you used to wear a fro like Dr. J. The Nets are the Nets are a franchise because of Dr. J. Yes, sir. Period. So. If I'm not saying that if you can go out there and hoop, you're going to be the next Dr. J, but that's the type of attention you will garner if you put the New Jersey Nets back on the map. And if you put the Knicks back on the map, the sky's the limit. The limit is the sky. And yeah, what you said, and I've said that when I was doing the little NBA, I'm starting to ramp it up now mm -hmm. at college football. I'm the regular season, but uh, Chairs the word on the Michigan Star. Uh, I was saying Spencer Dinwiddie. I was like, yeah, y'all don't, don't follow New Jersey Nets basketball. Brooklyn, that's what she said to Jersey. Brooklyn, yeah, yeah, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Um, you know, he would be a great pickup. I kept saying I would love to see him on one of these teams that are a playoff team uh, to give him that, that next level of player, like a Portland or somebody like that that's good. But they need the other player to go with Dave and DJ McCullough. Mm -hmm. but they got some good players on that. They play good basketball. They beat the Wizards. Uh, last night, we got a good team. That team to watch. Uh, and the boy from Kentucky is Baller. It's the Sacramento Kings. Hey, Nobody man, the op, man. Don't watch because it's not on the national radar. But you need to watch them play, man. They can ball, man. They got a good team. They in the playoffs right now. It's fired up. It's a long way to go. But they, you know, it's like I, I'm an NBA guy. I'm like, they got it. I get out of rehab and I keep going to the same spot where I know it's drugs. So I, I come back to the NBA, you know, at the TV. But this year it is truly back uh, across the league to watch some good basketball and not just watch the games they program. You know, they put the marquee names with Ron and, the, you know, Harden and the Rockets on TV. You can watch other games, but man, you, you really love NBA basketball if you like basketball. Exactly. And I'm telling you, man, you know what? Guess what we're going to need to do, uh, 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 Doc? 
This is what we really need to do. We need to stop saying, if this guy goes here, 